Okay. Well, we've gone through 10 steps of Ty Lopez's 67 steps. So I thought this is a good time because it's the first 10. Maybe I won't do this every 10, but first 10 to go back and look at what the first 10 steps were and kind of what lessons we've had so far. And so I was going to... I'm enjoying it so far. I hope you are too. So step number one was all about deserving it. Spending the time to train your billionaire's brain. There's a great quote, Charlie Munger. You'll hear a lot of him quoted in the 67 steps. And that is, go to bed a little bit wiser than when you woke up. That's step number one was, get in this attitude of training your brain. Step number two be adaptable. Change is the basic law of nature. According to Darwin, it's not the strongest, but the most able to adapt that survives, according to Meganson. So, Meganson, sorry. So, um, yeah, you have to be able to change your way of thinking. Adapt to new circumstances, situations, technology, business ideas, life circumstances, all of it. You got to adapt to it. Less, step number three, Humility. Find mentors, read books, spend your time and money on learning. And learning is not about proving what you know is right. It's about f having uh, data to back up your opinions or to form new opinions. Learn from your competitors if it's talking about business situation. Go out, see what the other guy's doing, see why it's working, where it's not working. Step number four, a little bit like humility, but step number four is more specific, find a mentor. Ty has this rule of 33, law of 33%. 33% with people who are the same as you, on the same status as you, uh, you know, same development as you. 33% people who are behind you, I don't like to say below, people are behind you in their development. But the most important 33%, 33% with people who are ahead of you, you know? Uh, be persistent, go high up the chain when you're looking for your mentors. Use books as mentors if you can't get in person, but try hard, persistent, be persistent. Step number five, learn from your poor friends. So that maybe not the lower 33%, but you're gonna have poor friends and that's not just financially poor, that may be, you know, uh, their ideas are not developed, all these things, what we call poor people. And from them you can learn what not to do, and that is they're not reading, their math skills are not good, their analytical skills are not good, their ability to invert, see what's not working, and say, ah, so if that's not working, then maybe this is going to work. That's what those poor friends are going to tell you. And form your own opinions based on truth and research, not from Fox News. Sorry, not from the popular television media. Step number six, Japanese counting here. Step, step number six, learn, uh, ignore the lottery approach. And that is, we focus too much on the last 24 hours, not on the last 6,000 years. Don't take this approach that you're gonna go on through your crappy life and something will drop in and change everything and life will be wonderful. That's not gonna happen. And to be honest, even if, it, if something good comes in and drops often, you're not mentally ready for it and it's not gonna make your life good, nor maybe for a short period of time. So instead of lottery approach, take a sculptures approach, carve out your own perfect life based on the materials you've been given. I'm not gonna be a skinny Kenyan long distance runner. You know, that's not gonna happen no matter how much I want it. I've got a sculpt from my own piece of stone, big piece of stone as it is. Uh, lesson number, step number seven, learned helplessness. You know, we often sit there and wait for what we don't know. Go to, you know, don't, but you're waiting for answers. Don't go out, find the answers yourself. It's easy to find the answers. Got the internet, got all these other things out there. Um, and don't wait for people or resources, you know, impetus, drive. That's what makes a difference. If you go out and live outside the box and the box is that thing, you know, not just the idiot box that people stare at, but the box that people seem to be happy to live in because they don't know they can open the door and walk out. Um, 
and number eight, step number eight was integration. And that's, you know, don't fall for this idea of linear reductionism. You can break down this, break down this, break down this. You can break life down, but you can't detach it. Okay? Bring these things together. The happiest people are people who have integrated lives, you know, of integrate their <clears throat> lives of love, health, work. They're doing it together, you know, working out at the office or, you know, their their job lets them pursue mental uh, challenges as well as physical challenges, See these kinds of things. Integration. Um, you won't need a vacation if you have integration. Oh, you won't need a vacation if you have integration. So number nine was book a day. Uh, you know, always be reading. Here we go. And read the right things. I've got this one here, this um, Peter Drucker managing yourself. I mean, look at it. It's tiny. You can read that in a day for sure. Um, and we all learn by mistakes, but it's a lot easier to learn by the mistakes of other people. Books help you do that, especially autobiographies. And it fuels your brain. Reading is exercise for your brain. You know, it gets you thinking new business ideas. And finally, step number 10 was toughen up. You know, be stoic. Forgo the immediate pleasures. Invest in the future, both financially and through health and exercise. Um, there's going to be a time when things won't go your way. And if you can't move forward through the tough times, you're going to be defeated. And I said it. When I recorded this uh, one about step number 10, you know, we're in a world dying from pleasure and convenience, diabetes and depression. Technology, which you are a slave to. So toughen up. So those are our 10, the first 10. And I hope you're enthused to go on. I make nothing from these uh, Ty Lopez reviews. I, To be honest, I started doing them simply for myself to drill in what I was learning on each step. And... Um, I'm going to do another little video about Thai, about 67 steps. It's kind of an intro. I'll do that later. Stick it in the beginning. Um, but I hope you're enjoying these reviews. That's a review of the first 10 steps. Let's see what we learn of the next 10. There's 67. Okay, bye. <laughs>